All right, hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you how to make moving platforms in your platformer game. The first step is to create some arrows and we're gonna need those arrows in order to uh, have the platform go up and down or left and right. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. We're going to create the left arrow and add an animation with Piscal. And then we're going to draw a simple arrow. Doesn't have to be perfect. And a line there, a line there, and a line there. And I'm going to fill it with a color. So that's our left arrow. And now we're going to draw a right arrow. Right arrow. Add an animation, edit with Piscal. Again, it does not have to be perfect. We're not looking for the greatest arrow ever created. We're just looking for something simple that indicates which direction we want the platform to go. And now we're going to do an up arrow and title it up arrow. Add animation, edit with pistol. There we go. That's a beautiful arrow. That is a nice arrow. That's probably one of the greatest arrows I've ever seen. Mm, yes. Look at that arrow. Fill it with black and we go. Apply. And last one is our down arrow. Down arrow. All right, add animation, edit with Piscal. And we want this arrow pointing, which direction? Down, down you go. All right, so after we make these arrows, these beautiful arrows, please don't take a lot of time drawing these. We are going to draw our platform. So we're going to add a new object sprites. We're going to call this moving platform. Add animation. Edit with Piscal. And we're going to draw a platform. Let's start at the very top. And paint bucket. All right. So what we also want to do is we want to select with our rectangular selection. And we want to crop so I'm going to go here to the transform options. I'm going to crop the sprite. So that way it is only that particular section. Okay. So again, we want to crop it. If you don't crop it, it's not the end of the world, but it makes it a little easier to work with. Okay. So I'm going to drag out the left arrow and I'm going to drag out the right arrow and I want them lined up. And I'm going to drag out the platform, but I'm going to put the platform right against an arrow. So that way it's touching the arrow. All right, next step, we need to open the object groups editor because we're going to put these objects in a group and we're going to edit that group as a whole. So click to add a group and we're going to rename this group moving platform. I guess we have to do a different name. Let's do moving underscore platform. And I'm going to add another group. And I'm going to title this moving arrows. Okay, click the group. And we're going to add an object to that group. And the reason why we create a group is it allows us to add other types of platforms to that particular group which would be handy down the road. Now the arrows, and we're going to select each arrow and put those arrows in a group. Okay, next part <clears throat> is up here in the upper left is the project manager. And we're going to create an external event. And this makes it a little easier to manage the events if they're external, so that way it's not one long scro uh, scrolling um, 
collection of events, we could separate them into different events. I'm going to rename that event Moving Platforms. I'm going to go ahead and open that. I'm going to choose which scene it relates to. And now I can start building the event. So the first event is at the beginning of scene. At the beginning of the scene, we want to hide our arrows. So this is why we created a group, moving arrows and hide. And OK. So now we're going to hide those moving arrows so that way we don't see them in the game. We're going to create another event, and this event is touching. So if the moving platform is in collision with the moving arrows, we're going to add a force. Oh, actually, we're going to stop the force. Uh, stop the object. Moving arrows. And now, after we've stopped the force, we're going to start the force again. And you could try not adding stop the force and see what happens. Arrows, it's just the behavior is not going to work how you intended. So we're going to add a force to the platform. And we're going to move it along the, uh, let's see, we're going to move this along the X axis, so left and right. So... If it is touching the left arrow, it's going to be a positive. And we're going to say 150 on that and zero. And we're going to make this a permanent force. Press OK. All right. So I uh, made a mistake. If moving platform is in collision with not the moving arrows, we want it to be the left arrow. So if the moving platform is in collision with the left arrow, stop moving arrows and add a permanent force to that. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, about right here. So I select the whole thing. It's now surrounded in a blue line. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to now paste control V. So in this case, it is now the right arrow. And instead of positive 150, we're going to change it to negative 150. Okay, next part is to add this to our main scene here. So our main scene events. So we created external events, now our main scene events. And we're going to add... We're going to create a group, select it, and call this Moving Platforms. And now we're going to link to that external event. We're going to choose the event, which is Moving Platforms, and then we're going to click and drag and move this in. Now, go back to our scene. Make sure that our arrows are there and that the platform is touching the arrows so it initiates the event. And let's preview. And there we go. We now have a moving platform. However, we cannot jump on the platform. There's one last thing we need to add. Double click the moving platform, go to behaviors, add a behavior, and turn that platform into a platform apply. And there we have a moving platform. And drag it over here. There we go. So it's a moving platform that your character can jump on. Now if you wanted to add up and down arrows, you pretty much copy these, but instead of on the x-axis, we're changing it on the y-axis. And that's how you add a moving platform to your game.